Hey, happy Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Your afternoon update of what's going on with these storms. Not only these two storms, really three, but that first one really isn't doing much. But after these two storms, then we got that third one, right? Then we got two more coming after that, guys. We got a whole parade of storms coming. So I'm going to show you all the latest information. Matter of fact, the trend has been a more of an eastern push. Still showing freezing rain, potential ice storm, heavy snow, feet of snow. I have some links in the description to help you zoom in and see exactly what you're going to get. Now, if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. It's free and easy to do. Matter of fact, I'm trying to hit... 300,000 subscribers by 2025. That'd be a nice little goal for me. You can see our first system is getting a trough over the West Coast. This is the one coming in, going to the Northeast, bringing that Northeaster. Then we still have that second one, stronger one. It keeps getting stronger, stronger, and stronger. This is the one that's going up towards the Central Plains, Ohio Valley. Great Lakes becoming bigger and broader with a lot of winds. I'm going to show you all the latest information. I will be as quick as possible. It is an afternoon update. Make sure to hit the like button. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. So you can see the update on the first storm. Potential nor'easter, really the second system, but the first system. As it comes through, still bringing that freezing rain, still bringing that snow, and it still has that path. It still has that big warm-up as it goes across Delaware, across Southern Maryland, and across Jersey. And I want to show you something, too. You're going to see this trend of what's going on, and it's unbelievable how much the models are at an agreement this afternoon. Now, this is bringing heavy banding, so it's bringing a lot of heavy snow. No, as it goes up towards the northeast matter of fact weather prediction center has seen that hug a little bit more guys and that second system coming in is still showing a big broader system bringing a lot of rain for the east coast on that second system but a lot of snow for everyone else on that wraparound on the western side then we got another one coming in right here in the center of the u.s then we got another one coming in it's just gonna be multiple of storms for this month but you can see why this is trending so much of the same Look at this. You got the freezing rain. You got the heavy banding of snow as it goes by Virginia, as it goes by Delaware, Southern Maryland, Jersey, and it almost gets right in your sweet spot. Sweet enough is bringing some very heavy banding to a lot of the big populated areas. One issue is like Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. Y'all are literally on the edge of either getting nothing or or a whole bunch of snow. Everyone else, this is pretty much a set trend of what you're going to get from this nor'easter. It's going right up on this high ridge, bringing 40 degree temperatures while it's riding up that coast, stopping y'all from getting anything. Very warm temperatures. Then as the system starts to pull away, then the cold temperatures come back and on the wraparound, you get some snow. But look at the warm temperatures for everyone else. This definitely will not hit southern Jersey. It will not hit southern Delaware, southern Maryland, eastern Virginia. It's just some areas it just will not hit. The latest update with the ensembles of the Ural shows that it will more than likely hug right up that coast, guys, bringing those warm temperatures. And as it goes towards New England, more than likely be a little northern of your benchmark or hugging the coast. Either way, bring in warmer temperatures as well as that goes by. So look at the latest update with the Euro. As that snowfall comes across, you see how it has lightened up some, still showing a lot of very heavy snowfall, but it's lightened up. Just like I was showing you in yesterday's video, this is either gonna be a snowmageddon or it's gonna be a bust. Now we're still getting a lot of winds right along the northeast coast. Still gonna be areas that we're probably going to watch out for for blizzards. Everyone else will be getting thunderstorms and potential damage of winds from the first system. Not showing a lot, there's still dew points, some lift right along the coast. And look at that second system, severely lightened up. Now this is only according to the Euro, this will update. And remember that second system is still six days away from the beginning of that as well. You see how much this changed. This one, I think, is set in stone, the path. Look at this. Don't look at the mount. The mount's going to be different. I'm going to show you different models. But I want you to keep your eye right here where the cutoff is on all of these. This is Euro. This is GFS, Canadian, even the Icon model. They're all showing that cutoff right there. So that's why I'm saying with 100% confidence Central to Southern Jersey, Delaware, Southern Maryland, 
Eastern Virginia, y'all just not going to get anything. It's going to be too warm, and the second storm is going to bring y'all rain as well. And then that second one, we still got a lot of figuring out on that one. The first one is just now starting to come together, guys. Look at GFS. Not only does it take that second storm, it takes a third trough coming in, bringing multiple areas. But look, a little bit of an eastern push. This morning, we've seen this heaviness right here. A little bit of an eastern push. So here's the Canadian. You can see what the Canadian is still showing that same area with that heaviness in that region for the second storm, northern Michigan for sure. This is super heavy for northeast. And then the Icon model, which is only a five-day forecasted model as well, takes that lighter as that comes across. Then it starts adding up later. So you see how everything's starting to lighten up a little bit on that second system. Still seeing that freezing rain transition Friday into Saturday. So we still got to watch this. I'm waiting for HRRR to really have good detail, but we still got to watch this. Look at all the models you've seen with GFS. GFS is showing both of them, but still showing definitely the first one is bringing some freezing rain and potential some ice guys. Look right here, the Canadian. Canadian's one that saw it in the first place. Bring a lot of heavy freezing rain, and bring a lot of potential ice, some sleet with that. So instead of guessing, because you can see how it is right here, this is your snowfall so far, and this is still a little too far to know for sure, but you can see with the Euro, you can see with GFS, it raises everything a little bit up. So you see how you have Philadelphia, three inches, Washington, maybe an inch, with the Euro a little bit further to the south, Washington 9, Philadelphia 5. So this link is in the description for you. It's for the second system as well. Make sure you click on it and you can zoom all the way in and see how much snowfall you are getting according to what we have so far. I also put this link in the description for you. This gives you the precipitation type. This is very important. If you take a look, you'll notice that the storm passes by, not only the freezing rain, but look at all that wet snow. You get a lot of wet snow. All that green is all wet snow. So here's your ledger down here on the bottom right. All this green is wet snow, that really heavy stuff to shovel. All this yellow is the rain and snow. Then the white is the snow and the blue is the rain. But you see how that transitions across the northeast. Brings a lot of snowfall. But then it brings this freezing rain transition, this wet snow transition. And I'll tell you, that wet snow is what you really got to watch out for as far as really over exerting yourself on shoveling some snow that's really hard stuff this link is in the description as well go zoom in and see what it is you're predicted so far to get ladies with the euro still showing 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts that's with that green to that orange all that red is 60. higher elevations definitely seeing a lot of high winds as this comes across the gulf bring a lot of 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts going towards the east coast bring a lot of 50 60 Getting up towards the 70 and the 80 now. Even little pockets of 90. This is the Euro. GFS saw that in the Gulf of Maine. This is starting to pick up and agree towards GFS with these high winds. Look, it's picking up more and more. GFS still sees a strong system, even on the latest update, guys. So this is still going to be a very strong storm, even if this weakens down. Hopefully it does. Still showing hurricane force wind gusts. 60 all across the whole northeast, guys, and getting 70 into 80 for the Gulf of Maine. Definitely right offshore. A lot of dangerous conditions. Please be careful for this second storm. The second storm, y'all just going to be getting a lot of rain. A lot of damaging winds and severe weather will be adding up, not just this one day that we have so far. Plus, look at this second storm. Look what it's adding up to. Not only snow, a lot of that wet snow. Very wet snow, a lot of that rain and snow. Very heavy snow when you clean this stuff up, but very sloppy as well. This is going to cause a lot of problems. And you can see here on your vorticity. So after you get the nor'easter going in, then you get a little lower trough that's going to swing by. Then we get our big storm coming in for Monday, bringing that severe weather, going up on a higher ridge, pushing it a little bit further to the east. That's been a trend. Then we got another system coming in after that, after the 10th. Another one coming in after that, and probably more after that. So now you can see what Weather Prediction Center update is, as well as you go on a Saturday for that nor'easter. Bringing a lot of rain, bringing snow in the blue, a chance of snow in the light blue, a chance of rain. And as you go into Sunday, going out through the northeast, and look, bringing rain and a chance of rain 
all along that Long Island coast towards Boston. Look, it's going to be right on the edge. Likely rain, likely snow right around the Boston area. And then a chance for snow for everybody else. And then Monday, the bigger system starts moving in, bringing the rain, bringing the snow. And Tuesday, moving it further to the east, bringing a lot more rain as well. Bringing snow and a chance for snow. Then we got another system coming. We got multiple systems. We got a whole parade of them, like five of them. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this update has helped you in any way. Please make sure you share this video to others. Help them know what the updates are as well. I will see you first thing in the morning. Now, before you go, Jeremiah 17, 5 through 9. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heat in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Amen. Thank you for tuning in, and remember all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and I hope he always keeps you safe, you and your family, every day of the year and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody.